Good morning. It is close to almost seven, I think. We got up early this morning. It's fishing day. We haven't been fishing in a while, so we're back in New Mexico and we're going fishing this morning. But first, we need breakfast and there's not a McDonald's out here. So, we're having the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. And since I have, since I have shore power, I'm going to warm them up in the microwave before we get out on the water. Well, we're not getting out on the water before we go. We don't have a boat, so we're not out on the water, but till we get to the water. Anyway, that's breakfast. Check out that boat. They're not open. They're only open on Saturday and Sunday. Otherwise, you gotta call them. So Deborah's calling us if we can get some worms. Oh, wonderful! Thank you so much. <laughs> Sammy, are you fishing? Fish aren't up there. Sammy, Sammy. <laughs> she was fishing. She's not. Are you fishing? Well, they're, they're green. They're yeah. Jana said they stained her fingers. <laughs> I've been. I don't mind. Let me see the box. Okay. I don't mind worms, but these green chili hatch worms. <laughs> so they're evergreen, large Canadian green night crawlers. Oh, not for human consumption. Um. So but anyway, so if your fish swallows the worm, you got to throw it away. Yeah. Anyway, it's a product of Canada. <laughs> you only put him. Uh oh, sorry. He says, "Let me back in the dirt." All right. So that was just to get it apart. Oh, I kind of made me come back. Baby, come back. <laughs> all right, I'll keep the bigger one. That was. I just don't want to pull them apart and have that green gut all over me and stain my fingers. But I'm good to go with putting it on the... Is that called a genetically modified worm? I don't know. What the <laughs> hell? I've never heard of a green worm. <laughs> and I was just kidding about the green chili hatch. Yeah. All right. All right. I don't think she's a very good fisherman. Or maybe she is. they're having any luck either. They cranked up their motor. They're moving on. But Sammy's holding down my fishing pole, so when I catch the big one... Oh, she said, I'm done. I'm done fishing. She said, just pet me now. Just pet me now.
like fishing, Sammy? Huh? She says, I like watching the bobber. So we changed locations. We didn't catch anything or get any bites. Well, Deborah may have gotten a bite um, on the lake, Caballo Lake. Um, so the lady at the um, bait shop told us about a off the beaten path place on the Rio Grande. Um, so we're on the river. Isn't that beautiful? And then I haven't seen the fish outside of the water that these guys next to us caught, but he said it was 45, so 45 inches. That's a big, and it's wall-eyed. So um, we're going to see what we can do here on the river. It's nice, peaceful, quiet. There's just three, us and two other people other groups. Oh, I think Deborah got a cup. Got a fish. <laughs> now back to the action. She jumped up. Let's see what she got. What you got? Is it, is it gonna be a walleye? So it's got a white belly. A white belly? Oh. Glad we got that other rod. Oh, did he get off? Keep coming. No, I don't think so. Alright, I'm going to pull him on up to shore. Holy crap! We don't even have a net. Holy! I'm coming on in. That's a catfish. Holy cow! <laughs> Look at that catfish. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, hi, little guy. Oh my gosh. Hi, little guy. That They're is going to be fun to clean. Looks pregnant. I know. I'm not sure. I think it's a girl. Oh, be careful. And I think she's pregnant. So, so we're I'm just going to get the hook out and get her back in the water as fast as I can. One exactly, huh? Blue heron. Oof. Landed right behind those bushes. Showing y'all that blue heron, but look at those fishing rods. Those reels and those rods are huge.